Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Don't look for a partnership between the city of Muncie and Delaware County anytime soon when it comes to animal control. A proposed joint shelter has hit a snag. Newslink Indiana's Nicole Richards explains. <laughs> A joint city-county animal shelter may no longer be in the works and it all has to do with money. Today, Mayor Dan Cannon said he only had two requirements for a joint shelter. We would be interested as long as the standards that we have at our shelter are upheld and as long as it did not re uh, require any more money out of the city taxpayers. City and county government did work together for a short period in 2003. The Muncie Animal Shelter housed county animals here from May until December last year. Then in January, strays from the county were sent to Randolph County. Now some commissioners say they don't believe a joint shelter is needed. The, the numbers that we see of animals picked up and taken to Randolph County in the per first six months of this year does not really warrant an animal shelter on its own, cost-wise. The proposed location, the old EMAR facility, would be more than just an animal shelter. It's a, a building of multiple a property of multiple uses and I just think it would be an asset to the county to purchase the property. The details from that will be available next Monday at the commissioners meeting. In Muncie, Nicole Richards, Newslink, Indiana. Larry Crouch says if the council does approve the matter, a few minor improvements must be made to the facility. Ball State football fans will soon see a brighter stadium. Preparations began last month, but today, electricians hook generators up to main switches. Musco Lighting will install poles for the lights within the next week if weather permits. The lights will allow more night games, which the athletic department hopes will boost attendance numbers. The lights should be in place by the first week of August, plenty of time before the home opener, September 2nd. Now here's a look at the Newslink Indiana forecast. It's going to feel a lot more like summer over the next several days, and we may see some rain. Tonight there is a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms late. The low will be 64. The rain chance continues tomorrow, otherwise it will be partly cloudy and more humid with a high of 85. And checking the five-day forecast, rain chances increase for Wednesday and Thursday, but will dry out and cool down for next weekend. Highs will drop to the upper 70s with lows mostly in the 60s. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 tomorrow morning for more news. And don't forget local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.